Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Well, you can argue in terms of prospects coming up in this division, this man is as well-rounded as any fighter in the weight class. Tonight believes he'll have the striking advantage, but not afraid to grapple if the fight goes to the ground as well. Well, when you possess that type of skill, when you have all the abilities, you're not afraid of where the fight goes. This man believes that he's just better, and he has proven that every time he stepped into the outcome. He is well-rounded, and many say it, but this kid is well-rounded and he has shown it in his octagon appearance. Yeah, it comes from a great camp, gets a lot of different looks, and health is wealth. When he's been healthy, he's looked like one of the best fighters in this division. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Politan Perea! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Shawkat Nomad Rothmanov! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, so here is the oncoming force at welterweight. Uzbekistan's Shavkat Rachmanov might want to start learning how to pronounce that name. We'll see how he approaches the early portions of this round. He's a striker, he's a grappler, he's a wrestler, he has conditioning, really looks like the total package at 170 pounds and looking for that next level signature win here tonight. Beautiful job getting those hands up. behind a night jab. Well, DC, they say styles make fights. We haven't had much of a fight here through the first minute. It hasn't been to this point. I mean, I don't have much to say, and I always got something to say. Don't back, up. back to the jab now, no good. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh, counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh! Oh, man, he's hurt. Oh! Huge 
huge kick to the head. Oh, landed some big shots, too. Oh! oh! Just misses with the left hook. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Keep going again. Going again. Right hook to the head block. Come on, let's get a move in the sport. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Circling to his right. Right on the button. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Oh, nice jab. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Pineda. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Rachmanov gets hit with a kick. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Leg kick lands. Oh. Round two straight ahead. All right, so that round is in the books. But in his corner now, we'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh, a big left hand. Perfect execution on that team. Good kick to the body. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Rachmanov's eye is closing up. Punch got blocked there. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat mouth, you gotta play cat mouth. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Great punch. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Ooh! Get right here. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that fit. Rachmanov's left calf starting to show signs of bruising, courtesy of those leg kicks. On that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Under a minute now to go. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood. Oh. that shot there. He 
gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Oh, well, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecard is not. Oh! Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a take down or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 45 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Shokat Nomad Rothmanov. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.